Hi, this is Laura with Ribbon and Bows Are Mine, and today we're making two stacked pinwheel bows into a really sweet puffy bow that has two prints showing. So you'll need this list of materials, all of which you can find at ribbonandbowsohmy.com. Let's get started. Taking your 4 inch bow board, go ahead and wrap your 7 eighths all the way around it so that your tails are coming off the bow board at opposite ends. And then you'll want to move your loops so that they're kind of angled going up the bow board. And then clip all of these into place really snug with your alligator clips. Now instead of sewing here, we're going to take our upholstery thread and we're just going to wrap the center and squeeze it and let the thread do the creasing work for us. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap around my moves twice. And then I'm going to squeeze my thread together to pinch that center really good. Now if you're using upholstery thread, you can usually make a knot without it cinching too far up on the thread. Your knot will still be loose, you'll need to make a couple, but this is good because it keeps all your moves in place. There we go. Let's go ahead and wrap this a couple of times, just keep everything secure, and then tie it off and trim your loose threads. Now this will be our base bow. You'll notice that my ends are unfinished. I'm going to wait until I have both of my bows finished to look at my ends and decide how short I want them to be. So that's looking really sweet. Now let's make the next one. You're just going to repeat the exact same moves and this time I'm using my striped rose print. I'm going to clip that lower tail into place and wrap at an angle all the way up my bow board making sure my moves are snug and symmetrical. And the alligator clips are really helpful here. And don't worry if you're like me and you have a little bit of excess tail up here on this upper end because we'll trim this once we get our bows wrapped and finished. So I'm just going to do the same thing with my upholstery thread on this one. I'm going to wrap it twice, squeeze it, pull it off the bow board, and then wrap it even more snug. Now upholstery thread is going to be your best bet for this. I'm afraid if you use cotton thread it just won't be able to handle the tension that you put on it when you try and cinch the knot while it's on the bow board. So if you're not using upholstery thread already, now's a great time to start. So I'm going to wrap it a couple of times just to keep it really secure and then tie off the back and trim the ends of my thread. And that's looking really sweet. I love the way it looks and I love this print. All right, so to trim the ends, I know this edge is a little bit longer, so I'm gonna come in and make a kind of shallow V-cut on each side. And I want it to be about even with my loops. And I like the way that looks. I think one's a little bit too long, so I'm gonna trim them back down. And it's helpful to have really good fabric scissors for this kind of thing. You don't want to use any gummy crafting scissors. Having something sharp will get you really cute ends. So go ahead and seal. And there we go. My top bow's looking great. And we'll just do the same thing with our other bow. So I'm going to fold long ways in order to have a symmetrical V-cut on the end of my tails. I'm going to use really sharp scissors, make a shallow V, and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, that's looking super, super cute. Now I'm going to take my top printed bow and I'm just going to rotate it slightly because I don't want 
my bows to be stacked directly one on top of the other. So I'm going to rotate mine about 90 degrees so that it's doing more of a cross. And there we go, I'm just going to glue right on top of one another and then take my rhinestone pearl center and put it right in the middle. And it looks really sweet, I love the way this looks. And now you're going to take your covered alligator clip, you'll see that mine's not covered, but take a covered alligator clip and just loop it in the back of your thread there and you're all done. You can find all of these supplies at ribbonandbowsohmy.com. We have too many cool things to list on this list, but click through and you'll see so much great stuff, everything you need to make the cutest bows.